what happened, little kitty. You seem scared. Well, they are indeed bad for those who steal their food. But for the rest of the world, their existence brings all the good. Well, that's an excellent question. Hey friends, in today's episode, let us answer a crucial question. What if all the bees disappear? Zoom in! Bees, they are one of the busiest and most hard-working insects in the animal kingdom. They are the producers of honey, beeswax, royal jelly and also propolis. Not only that, the food that we eat is made from the crops that are pollinated by the bees. But sadly, in recent times, due to the extensive use of pesticides, there has been a steep decline in bee population. Yes, many species such as bumblebees, Hawaiian yellow-faced bees and even honeybees are said to be on the verge of extinction. Although it might not sound a thing of concern to many, however, the truth is way more severe than we can imagine. How? Let me explain. As we know, bees are the only producers of honey, which acts as a natural sweetener and has many health benefits. So, if someday all the bees go extinct, the first thing to go away will be all the honey from the market. This will force people to opt for artificial sweeteners like processed sugar that can have adverse effects on our health, leading to many diseases. The next thing to go out of the shelves will be the candles. Yes, as beeswax is a significant ingredient in the candle making process. Without it, we won't be able to manufacture candles anymore. Because of this, we won't be able to light up the room or have candlelight dinners. And it's not just honey and wax, but there are several other products bees produce that provide employment to masses, especially bee farmers. So, if bees vanish, all these industries will close down, leaving many jobless. And if these issues still don't concern you, then how about an ecological imbalance? Bees play a crucial role in holding the food chain together. As we know, a lot of animals like frogs and lizards eat bees to survive. So, if bees go extinct, these creatures will have nothing to eat and will eventually die as well. And with frogs and lizards out of the menu for snakes and other reptiles, they will slowly go extinct as well, followed by large birds who eat reptiles. In short, the absence of bees will cause the entire food chain to collapse like a weak tower. Not only that, bees are considered to be the best pollinators among all the insects. Pollination is a process through which the plants reproduce. So, when a bee collects nectar, pollen gets carried along from one flower to another. During this procedure, some pollen grains fall on the flower's reproductive parts, leading to fertilization that gives birth to baby plants and fruits. And as these pollinated crops fulfill at least one of the three meals of human beings, soon there will be a shortage of fruits and food, causing a famine-like situation for all living beings, including humans. So my dear friends, it's time to start caring for our little bee friends as our future depends on them. Trivia time! Did you know there are approximately 30,000 species of bees and only half of them have been recorded? 
Also, the type of flower the bees take their nectar from determines the flavor of the honey. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Let's take honey. Ah, uh, never mind.